Keeper is up. Luke Wright from Sussex. They'll get the one. Now Vittori has uh, started to find the middle of the bat. He's already on 12 now, so he will back himself to go for the boundary. Fine leg is up. Vittori will look to possibly get uh, over to the off stump, flick it on side where there are only four fielders. On the off side there are five. out what field to bowl to the Tory. that's the sort of plight that uh, a lot of sides have up against uh, this uncanny skill of this left-hander he can flick him here and nudge them there nurdle it over there he can smash it well, he's 12 from 12 and he's probably the batsman that they've bowled best at all day he's got some Yorkers and he thought gee this is tough but he had one opportunity for Tory and he whacked it for four Collingwood's trying to get the right personnel in the right areas of the ground, let alone uh, decide where exactly they should go. And so uh, Ryan Sidebottom is running all over the place. He's just grabbing a hat because he's got to look into the sun as he uh, heads to mid on. Mid on up, fine leg up. They've got five men inside the circle. Here's a gamble. Get it, Brody! Easy. Just a single. Shadows encroaching onto the middle, making it difficult to pick up the ball. Jamie Howe. Paul Collingwood, Daniel Vittori, and Luke Wright, the key men out there right now. He hasn't, he hasn't brought his field up. Just said he's only got four inside the ring. Here we go, five to win. They'll get two here. Must, must get two. Vittori's coming back. Oh, and Wright delayed taking the bails off. He wasn't even behind the stumps. Good stroke from Jamie Howe. Well, Howe's done this a couple of times. This is the throw and the run out. Oh, if he's behind the stance, it's this new technique. I don't agree with it. It's cost England a run out. What new technique? It's just stupidity. I tell you, I've seen some dumb stuff in the field today. It's worked in New Zealand's favour. Look at him. I mean, that might have hit the stumps if he'd been standing right behind them. Some tactician out there come up with an idea that standing in front of the stumps and directing the ball on was the fastest way to do it. Well, there's an example why it's not. Three from three. Jamie Howe still there. Yes! Straight to Midwicket. Oh! And missed. Had to hit. Had one stump. It was Kevin Peterson missed. Two from two. Have we got a tie on our hands? We had a tie here between these two sides back in 97 here in Napier. And that was a coat of paint. It's run out there. What a made things interesting. I was just saying before that run out, Jamie Howe played a couple of very clever strokes. He's starting to place the ball around the park and he picked up the vice with two. Now the Tory must get one away. What a game this has turned out to be. What a day here in the Bay. Six hundred and seventy nine runs. Two balls to go. One to tie, two to win. Fielders are coming now. Mid off is up. 
right leg back. Deep mid wicket back. And Luke Wright now. Straight to mid off. And he's going to be a run out. Yes! Jamie Powell's run out. Victoria hit it straight to mid off. And Anderson threw the stumps down. And Jamie Howe's absolutely magnificent innings comes to an end. The head goes down, but he should stand with his head up and receive a wonderful ovation. He has been outstanding today. Well, they didn't need to hit because uh, the bowler was getting back, but it did hit. And how it took off, there was a loud call of no from Victoria, who decided to hit straight to him. But how it taken off, you can't overly blame him. But what a magnificent innings from Jamie Howe. What a superb innings for his country. He's batted above himself. Has he brought it home? I don't know. One more to go. James Anderson has uh, made the run out. <laughs> and Danny Vittori, the skipper. The man under the hammer over in Mumbai. Under the hammer here in Napier. One to tie, two to win. It's come down to the last ball here. One of the great games that you'll ever see in this country. Only two sides have ever chased more than 340 in the history of one-day cricket. Can New Zealand be the third team to do it? The field is in. There's four on the onside. The, the, the Tory has to probably look to go over the top. He's got to look to probably back away, get under the ball and try and loft it somehow, somewhere. As the field comes in, the shadows are in, the field is in. The crowd are on their feet. As Luke Wright comes in now, the Tory. Two to win. One to tie. if he'd hit the stumps but he missed Mills got home oh my giddy aunt <laughs> 340 each well it's a befitting end there was a magnificent piece of bowling from Swan right where he needed it he performed under pressure the Black Cats are distraught perhaps they had this game 10 overs out well England clawed their way back into it they couldn't win it share the honours and now they've got a chance of squaring the series when they go to Christchurch.